What's good YouTube? Nobody here. Welcome to the tutorial for the Path Auto Mining, also known as PAM system. For this and any other script, you have to make sure that your game is set in experimental mode, which can be found in your main game options. Also under advanced settings, in your game settings themselves, go down and select in-game scripts. In preparation for this script, if you have any conveyor sorters that you're using, go ahead and make sure you've got the appropriate whitelist and blacklist set. In order for PAM to function properly, you're going to need a programmable block sensor, or detector, remote control, and an LCD screen. You're going to want to place your LCD screen right in front of your cockpit, or actually anywhere that it's easy to see. As usual, place your remote facing forward, and just plop your ore detector down anywhere. Now for the programmable block, it doesn't matter where you put it, just make sure that you know where it's at. The orientation of the sensor is pretty important to the script will not work without it. Just make sure that it looks like a robot face with the mouth down to the bottom and make sure it is faced in the exact orientation of your drills. The next thing we do is go ahead and put the script into the programmable block. Go to the K menu, go to your programmable block and hit edit. If you haven't already subscribed to the script, it'll be down in the video description in the bottom. Just make sure that you subscribe on Steam and then it'll be in your list here. Go ahead and copy the editor after this. And as usual, check code before you do anything else. The next step is actually to set your LCD panel and anything that's going to be used by the PAM script with the correct naming scheme. What this does is allow PAM to figure out which components it's actually supposed to use. In order to do this, just put on the end of each name, capital P-A-M inside of brackets. Next, go to the Info tab and select Show Sensors Field Range. This will allow you to visualize your work area when you're setting up your job. Next, under your G menu, go down and find your programmable block and drag it down to your toolbar. Under the menu that comes up for this, go ahead and choose Run. The first one should be Up, case does not matter. Now you'll want to repeat this twice, but you want to use the words down and apply for the next two. Now you can use these buttons to navigate through the menu, using one for up, two for down, and three for apply. To actually use the script, choose the first option while docked to your base, then undock and drive over to wherever your work area is going to be. Once you arrive at your destination, go ahead and hit at this point Pam has recorded your entire path to the job site so at any time if you want to you can fly to home position just by hitting the fly to home position button but instead of doing that now let's go on and continue on setting up the mining job when you're near the position that you want to actually create your job at go ahead and hit set up mining job this will bring up a hologram of the work area you have set up you can adjust this throughout the menu and feel free to fly around as much as you need to to get your position set. It will remember your position. Now set up your job area using the width plus and minus along with the height plus and minus and finally the depth plus and minus. Also in this portion you should be aware that the script will actually record the gyroscopic orientation of your ship as well. So pay very close attention if you have to worry about leaning too far to one side or the other. If your ship can do it, the script can do it. Now that everything's set up, you can go ahead and hit start new job, hop out of the ship and watch it work. Now the first time that you set up a new job, I recommend actually sitting there with the ship for the entire first round of whatever it ends up doing. Sometimes you can mess something up and it will actually cause your ship to get stuck or do something like that and you need to be aware that it has an issue. Such as this point right here, I realized I didn't have enough drills. The drills didn't clear the sides of the ship and it would actually create an issue. So if I wouldn't have been paying attention to this at this point, I wouldn't have seen it. Now we're getting into where the beauty of the script actually lies. 
at any point if you make a mistake and you need to stop it and change any settings or anything like that including changing pieces of your ship you can move it around as much as you need to while you're stopped and it will continue the job correctly from where you had it set before and it's completely seamless if you previously set up ejectors it will actually use the ejectors and spit out any rock or ice or anything that you set it for the options for this are under behavior settings while mining the script also uses vertical or horizontal drilling systems so it will actually figure out the platform specifically based off of where you put your sensor which is why the sensor orientation is so important so you do the same exact thing that you did for the horizontal orientation if you want to do vertical orientation as well also if you want to use either of the two ships that i use in this tutorial i will have them up on the workshop along with a video of me designing these ships so i actually go a little bit further and make them look better if you want to see the video of a ship like this being made click the little annotation up in the upper right corner of the screen now thank you for watching the video all the way through if you made it this far how about dropping a like to let me know also think about subscribing to help us reach our goal of 1000 subscribers if you'd like to see more of these ships in action or any of my other videos go ahead and click one of the two videos on your screen now have a nice day